Been plenty of action on night two of the Australian Swimming Championships at the Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre. We've just witnessed a very exciting 50 metre backstroke final. And in the end, it was Ashley Delaney, the 22 year old from uh, the a who's at the AIS from Nunna Wadding who has prevailed. As you can see, we're now moving on to another final. And it's again just all over in a flash the 50 metres breaststroke with uh, Jane Edmonston, now known as Jane Richards married uh, reasonably recently and uh, she is still the world record holder in this 50 meter event non-olympic event again mm. but uh is very much up for grabs as far as the world championships is concerned but tani white is clearly the favorite she's in awesome form yeah tani's in great form jade richards is the world champion from 2005 um, unfortunately, had a bit of time out, wanted to make the Olympic team in 2008 and, you know, the, the perfect send-off for her and her mind was to make it, have a great meet and then retire, but unfi unfinished business for her. So she got back in after a couple of health issues, she got that sorted out and then got back into training. So she's doing okay now, thankfully, and returned to the sport. Christy Morrison's in lane number one, coached by her dad, Greg, at the Castle Hills Club. Sam Marshall, she won gold in the 2009 Junior Pan Packs in Guam, of all places, hard to take. She's at the Cook and Phillip Park pool here in Sydney. Sarah Katsoulis, she's swimming really well. 31.09 is her personal best time. She needs to go under the 31 seconds to be a player in the first or second place. Here she is, Tani. Also had thoughts of retiring. She got married after the Olympic Games. But, and also had a hip problem, which Kate Campbell in the freestyle a little bit later, it's affecting her as well. Tani's had some hip issues. Now, this young lady is certainly a newcomer. Leston Pickett, she is coached by Glenn Baker, who I used to swim with as a kid. Glenn was a great breaststroker. He's at the Southport Aquatic Club. She won the Youth Olympics 100 breaststroke. Here's Jade. Married to Andrew Richards, still in the top 10 of the all-times 200 butterfly for Australia. Tessa Wallace, lane number seven, Pelican Waters Caloundra. Her dad, John, coaches her. Silver medalist at the Junior Pan Packs and bronze as well. And Katie Bird. Well, what about the world record market? Survived despite the suits. It's one of the yeah. oldest records to still be intact. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Could, it? could it go tonight? Well, could. Tani's been in great form. She went 30.45 in the heats. So that's only 0.14 off. That's just the difference of having a better start or having a better underwater pull through or a better touch. She will swim from lane four, Tani White, with young Layston Pickett in five, Katsoulis in three, and the world record holder, Jay Richards, in six, and they're away. Clean start, very tight as they come up for the first time. You can see that line right across the pool. Nicole, it's hard to pick a leader at this stage. Maybe lane three, Sarah Katsoulis in front. Yeah, Leston Pickett is also doing quite well. Sarah Katsoulis has got off to a great start. I reckon they might be close to this pacing on the world record as well. There it is. Actually, Sarah is right on it. What a swim from Sarah Katsoulis. She leads. Tani White's going to have to be very strong, the defending champion. Close. It's not going to be a world record. And I reckon Katsoulis has done it. What a surprise. White had been in sensational form. But the 24-year-old Victorian Sarah Katsoulis Look at the emotions ball over. She's an Australian champion. She's won the 50 metre breaststroke final. But more importantly, she's back on the Australian team. Well done, Sarah Katsoulis. A personal best time. She's done it at the perfect moment, the perfect opportunity. First time under the 31 seconds. These are the girls off the wall, the big pull through, the kick. She was fantastic. Her start was brilliant. She trains alongside Liesl Jones. That's her on the outside, blue cap. They really, they got back to her, but her start and first 30 metres were just far too good. 30.65, point one of a second was the winning margin to Tani White. Blue cap, top of the screen is Sarah Katsoulis. There's Tani with the white cap. So both girls under the qualifying time. So they're off to Rome and Sarah will be ecstatic. You know, she sat back and watched the Olympic Games, kept training. The motivation might have dimmed a little bit, but as soon as the season was back happening, she got back in there and worked hard. Well, she represented all the way back in 2003 at the Worlds, so it is a great story of persistence, isn't it? It is, certainly At the grand is. old age of 24. <laughs> but, you know, she, she missed the last two uh, Worlds, and she's off to the Worlds now. And we're off to Howie downstairs. Sarah, a surprise to some, a surprise to yourself or not? Oh, no, definitely. Um, 
That's a huge PB for a 50, so oh, I'm really happy. Talking to your coach, Rowan Taylor, he was saying you've changed things around a lot. You, you obviously go for longer distances. They said you've been changing your training schedule around and really picked up some speed. Yeah, no, I've um, sort of been doing a bit of a 100 training and um, a lot of sort of 20 metres and uh, 50 metres and stuff, so which I've been enjoying. <laughs> and similar in that squad with Lisa, doing a bit more work out of the pool. What type of work are you doing and how's it helping with your swimming? Oh, a bit of... Um, boxing and um, sarthing and uh, we've got a new gym coach so he's um, helped me a lot. So. How do you go with the boxing? A bit lethal with the old left hook are we? Oh, I'm not very good. <laughs> now what about for the rest of the meet? This, this was just a bit of an exploratory event for you Rowan was saying now you can really launch into the rest of the week. Yeah and no, um, I've been swimming pretty well so i um, just got to sort of focus on myself and um, still got the two and the hundred to go so um, yeah this is a bit of a see how it goes. Now looking ahead towards uh, Rome, that uh, must be a fantastic fillet for the end of the year for you. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. It'll be good. Congratulations, Sarah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I think she's shocked. Oh, I think she is. <laughs> yeah, she's in shock. And good honour, isn't it? What a great effort. She's a lovely girl. I'm so pleased for her. And Tani White also. The two girls onto the team. Well, Tani swam slower than she did in the semis, but she's qualified for Rome, and that's the main thing. Yeah, 30.65 a PB for Sarah. And Tani in second, 30.75. All right, we'll take a breath and come back. We're moving to some semi final action. There's more finals later to come. And Jeff Hugel's not far away. Congratulations to our winner there, Sarah Katsouris.